All right, we're going to finish the final project. We're doing this modularly or in an agile method. We've dealt with the choice of there being a guest, and it just prints, welcome to the coffee kiosk, you're logged in as a guest. The next thing we're going to deal with is if it's a returning customer. So we have my returning function here. It doesn't need to print returning anymore, um, but it's going to get the customer number from the user and then it's going to find that customer number from the file. So the get customer number simply gets and returns, have it, has you please enter your customer number. I could do some error checking here. I didn't, but I could. And then I have my find customer. So I'm going to use the with statement, which I'm using a tutorial that I'm linking in the assignment, Python for Beginners and how to read and write a file. The advantage of using a with statement is that it automatically closes the file so you don't have to. And that can be a little cleaner. So I'm using it both ways. So I've got it where it's just going to read it. It's going to be treating the file as R. So I've got my customer list, which is a variable, equaling to r.readlines. Using read lines, brings in each line item as a separate item. So let's look at this a couple different ways. I'm going to um, print the customer list. And so we'll test it, returning customer we grab a customer number, 354008. And this is how it prints a customer list. All the way across, it doesn't break it into lines. So when I change that, I can split that after it comes in. I can split it into items. So for each item in the customer list, I can have record equal item dot split. And this breaks it down into records for me. <coughs> so let's see how that prints out. Okay, so by doing that, I break it into separate lines that I can break apart further to get the individual item that I want to look for. So that gives me actual lines as records, so it acts more as a database. Now I can work with the detail in each record. If customer equals equals record zero, so I'm just checking the customer number against the first item in the record, for the, um, because detail stepping through each one, but I'm just looking for record zero, return record. So I'm breaking it apart further here. I don't even think I need the for statement because it's going through everything. Let's see if it works without that. I tried about six different things to get this to work the way I wanted it to. So we've got record equals item dot split. If record, if customer equals record zero, yep, I don't think we needed that for a statement. So let's try that again. So one, We'll put in our customer number. And voila, I didn't need that. Okay, like I said, I've been working on this, trying to get it to its simplest possible way of doing this. So again, we read in as lines, and I br then break it apart where I do an item dot split. So I'm splitting it on the lines. And then inside of the record, that's also split on commas. And that lets me 
actually, I don't even have to split it inside of my record. I just look at the first one, zero, to see if customer equals the record number. And if it does, I return the record. Otherwise, I return none. If I get an exception, I get an error message that the file doesn't exist. So what happens when I come back to my returning customer, if the customer record equals none, I print that record was not found, try again, and I recall the returning function so I can let them, and so it's calling itself, returning function calling itself. That's an example of recursion. Otherwise, for item in customer record, I have them print item. And by doing it this way, it prints out one line after another here. So I should have cleaned up all those print statements up at the top. I did, if we run it now, as you see here, we should just get the information that we want. 